Hey guys, Alex here. In this tutorial, we're going to learn how to map a single image across multiple objects. This is pretty easy using our special mapping techniques. So let's just dive right in and learn how to do it. All right, so this is what we are going to end up with. We have multiple objects that make up this cute little happy couple. If I scrub along the timeline, we can see that we ha these are different puzzle pieces that all make up this picture. Awesome, let's so, so let's start from scratch and get started. We go up to File, New Scene. The first thing we need to do is to import our 3D objects. We'll do that by coming over to Object, Import 3D Objects, finding our model, and click on Import. Great, so already we have our 3D models in the scene. Notice that each individual puzzle piece is a different object, but also notice that if we go into our modeling workspace, that these are just outlines. These are just vector drawn outlines that can be manipulated at any time. Uh, you can draw these outlines in Illustrator, in Corel Draw, or, or even right in our object drawing window in Pro Animator or Invigorator. Cool, so now that we have this, let's map our image. Let's do the first step, mapping our image. We'll go into our material workspace, bring in our picture by clicking on this thumbnail next to the word color and picking on the word on the image. Great, so we have our image in the scene. Now all we have to do is take this thumbnail, drag it onto our object, let go, and it gets applied to one of the objects. It's not being applied to all the objects because they are not selected yet. So let's select all the objects. We can do that by coming up to our first object, holding down the shift key, select the last object, and now all of our objects are selected. Cool, so let's do the same thing as we did before. So we'll take our thumbnail over here, drag onto our object, let go, and it asks us, do we want to replace the material in dock number one for all of our selected objects? Yes, we do. Cool, so now this is a look right here. This is not the look we're going for, but this is a look. It's uh, the same image applied onto each object individually, but we want it to spread across all of the images. The way to do this is to make sure all of your objects are selected, and then come into this material docs and select the thumbnail. Next, we'll come into our mapping area. Remember I said special mapping we're gonna do? Select this menu right here and select front. What front is going to do is map the picture from the front all the way to the back. Do we want to spread this map across all of our selected objects? Yes, we do. Heck yeah. Click on yes and there you go. Look at that. We have our image onto our objects immediately. Pretty easy. So once again, let's select all of our objects and let's apply an outside color. So we'll drag this into number two and the number two dock onto the outside. That gives us a nice red on the outside. And let's come into our modeling workspace and let me show you some fun techniques of fine tuning your objects. What we can do here is we can mess around with the depth and the edge offset and even some spike buster if it's going too crazy for us. So if we lower spike buster right here, we notice we have some weird spikes going on through the outside. So all we have to do is increase the spike buster and that gets taken care of for us immediately. I want to show you some the depth right here. The depth is pretty sweet. You can you can make everything skinnier or fatter in the Z direction. Make sure that everything is selected. And the coolest part right here is that I'm going to zoom in is our edge offset down here. What our edge offset is going to do is going to make each individual object, the base shape, thinner, thicker or thinner. Thicker or thinner, okay? So when I make this in the negative direction, each object is getting thinner and can make maybe go like, give you like a cheese grated look if you want that. Or you can get a little bit thicker and to to or you can get a little bit thicker and hide those lines. So we have these puzzle piece lines, but I don't want to show the puzzle piece lines. I want it to look like it's just one big old heart. Perfect, look at that. Cool, so now lastly, we're going to go into our animation workspace and select an animation preset. And just from that animation preset, we have a cool looking animation that f swarms onto the screen, blows off the screen, and gives us what we want. Okay, cool. That's it for this. I'll see you guys next time.